You guys ready? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, not too pretty, but um, pretty full still. Pretty full. All right. Yeah. You know what? Okay, this is good. Hmm. Ooh, this is neat. Look at this, Kilgore. All right, let's see what's in here. You ready? Yeah. Okay, more toys. Let's see what's inside. Okay, toys. Cards. Oh, what's this? Look at this, guys. This is a Pokemon. Oh my goodness, guys. Do you hear that? Do you know what this is good for, guys? This is good for opening safes. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. Eric Hinsky is signed. out there look at all those hills this is crazy I've lived here a long time guys I haven't seen snow on these hills very often and I don't think I've ever seen this much snow on the hills I mentioned yesterday that it was really cold when I was working at the unit I was not exaggerating it is super duper cold for this area which is about an hour outside San Francisco Northern California so uh, we're, we're experiencing some very cold temperatures here towards the end of February and yeah, kind of interesting, kind of exciting, but also a little concerning because we're not really prepared for freezing temperature. I know the wildlife is not used to that around here. But hey, we're headed back to that unit that I bought a couple days ago. So excited, guys, so excited. Actually, I thought it was gonna rain all day today and it looks like we got a little bit of a break. It's almost two o'clock. I'm gonna go over there and just do a few hours work before it gets too cold or too dark. I'm excited. This has been a great unit. I spent 360 bucks plus fees. We're in it just shy of 400 and found some amazing stuff already. Amazing stuff. This guy collected toys, but he wasn't too so tidy. He wasn't so organized of a person. And uh, his locker is a disaster. All right, we're about to get there and uh, we'll get to digging here in just a second. All right, locker nuts, we are back. Ooh, I'm excited, it's locker time. We're gonna get back into this unit. The seven by 10 look like a total mess, look like a hoarder nest, and pay just shy of 400 bucks. Oh, it's been so good. It's been so everything I hoped it would be and much more. If you guys didn't watch the last video, go check it out, guys. Really, this is like the stuff we love the most, where you have low expectations in the locker, just completely, completely surprises you. So you saw uh, the mountains, covered with snow. I was talking yesterday when I was here about how cold it was. I think it was 38 when I first started. When I was leaving, it was like 43. It's very cold for these parts. We're in Northern California, just above sea level. It doesn't get that cold around here. These mountains are really nicely covered with snow. Kind of cool, it's very beautiful, but um, you know what else is beautiful? The fact that we're gonna be digging and hopefully finding more surprises. Let's get started. You guys ready? Okay, that's how we left it yesterday. Oh yeah, not too pretty, but um, pretty full still, pretty full. Uh, those garbage cans are mine, obviously. I brought those, and uh, yeah, maybe those two totes right there are mine. Not that one, but those two are mine. I'm glad I left this stuff because I didn't take my truck. Last Yesterday I had the old Honda. And by the way, it felt so great to be working with the Honda again. It's been sitting in my mom's house for a couple months. So, but today I got the van because of the rain, because of the rain. Uh, I want to try to take some of the better stuff. And I think there's some in here and put that in the van, right? Even the flea market stuff, even stuff like this. I'm going to put in the van right now. Uh, but the garbage I'll leave here. I'll come back tomorrow with my pickup and finish up that load so I can go to the dump. But today, uh, let's get some decent stuff out of here so we don't have to keep putting it in and out so many times. But ooh, 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 under here, who knows? Who knows? There might be some treasures. Let's get digging.
Okay guys, this is where we left off. If you didn't see the last video, I'll show you what we seriously left off the very, very last. I peeked in here. Look at this. Oh, this looks so good. It's all toys. It's all toys. Uh-oh. Uh hey, there's some vintage toys in here too. Wait a second. I want that to spill. That's cool. There's some vintage ones in there. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know what? Okay. This is good. I just, they look mint to me. <laughs> they look mint. Maybe I was just seeing what I want to see. Now I'm seeing them and they're not, they're not mint. But they're still brand new. Well, these are Supergirl right here. Bar oh, Barbie Supergirl. That's cool. There's uh, Supergirl again. Golden Goddess DC. See, it's really dusty on top. It's been displayed somewhere, somewhere not so clean. Uh, that's 100, 104 out of 250. I don't think that means 250 made. Could it mean that? It doesn't seem like. It seems like it's way more high, high production, right? Mass quantities. Okay, Superman Classics. Oh, that's neat. Got a skyscraper there, and he's gonna be. Oh, he's got Super Dog. Oh, that's Superwoman. Hmm. Carousel. It says Carousel. 2001. Hey, that's vintage. 20 years old. Scoop. Little sippy cup there. Playtex, not too impressed with that. Put that in a flea market box. Okay, now, oops, that's someone's head. Hey, that looks familiar. That's the same pose as that. Just different color combinations. So that's a DC bombshells, right? Bombshells. I think that's what these are too. Oh, that's what I think these are too. I think these are little DC bombshells right here. They're really into Supergirl and Poison Ivy. They liked all the female characters. That's another one. They're really dirty. We might get those cleaned up or we might just sell them like they are and let the new owner clean it up. This one is heavy. This is die cast. Supergirl. I like twists. It's heavier. I think it's metal. Alright, got a bunch of little loose ones. Cool. Little Pez there. Supergirl Pez. This is a lot of Supergirl stuff. Ooh, there we go. Pop. Funko Pops, very collectible, and it's in a hard case right here. Don't find those very often. Supergirl 708, let's try to get a comp on that. We'll show on the screen for you guys. There's another one, Supergirl 222, that's the Bombshells version. Ooh, that's nice. Icon here, oh, look at numbered piece, 747 of 2000. But she's really dusty. You know what, it's not, ah, her finger's busted. That's too bad. Fingers a little busted, actually, not too bad. It's just a little cracked now. There's a wire in it, so luckily it doesn't break off, but yeah, too bad they don't put them back in the boxes before they loaded it in here. Vintage, it says vintage right there. Supergirl Comics uh, 2019 calendar. I'll let that go. What's this? And here, right here, is part of a glass pipe, guys. I don't think that's a marijuana pipe either. I think that's like a meth pipe or something. Pretty gross. Pretty gross. Pretty gross. Supergirl. Official World's Greatest Heroes. Okay. Look at that. Figures Toy Company. It's got this little tag on it still. Superman Series 1 it says. That was 30 bucks brand new. Huh. 2014. What else we got? Oops. Ah. We got this. For some reason there's a compressor right here. Can't imagine the air conditioning is on, but keeps kicking on all right this super girl right here she's got a very serious face right there she looks very concentrated 2004 headstrong heroes it says headstrong it's got the enlarged head on it makes her look like a big brain and amicom heroin soup series supergirl pvc pat uh, statue this is all the anime look on it it's cool that's a really cool i bet you that's worth a few bucks dc direct nice Look at this one. That's a little bit nicer. And this, I think I saw a stand in there. I bet you this goes on that. These definitely got to get cleaned up. This is some decent stuff. Here's a little Funko Pop here. Super, oh, this is neat. Supergirl glass. 1976 right here. Nice. <laughs> Sorry for the noise in the background, guys. There's nothing I can do about it, really. Except for pause and wait till it stops. But if I start raining in the meantime, DC Comics. It's another cool piece. Ah, oh, this one is heavy right here. This is another metal piece. Her paint's chipped off on her hands, unfortunately. And definitely gonna need a little cleaning on that. And Q-Fig. 
Supergirl. Two fig. That's cool. Very cool. Great box right here. All right. Now this is going to take a little work to get these cleaned up and uh, show ready. Show ready. Sell ready, I should say. Sell ready. But it'll be worth it. They'll be worth it. A little bit of money here. <laughs> Hopefully there's more than this. Okay, that's a vintage toy right here. Look at that space gun. $3.75. That looks like it's from an estate uh, uh, antique shop, you know? That's from the 1950s to 1960s. That's pretty cool. This is not nearly as old, right? Mandalorian. Funko. That's Funko Pops. Cool. Hmm. Now this guy, unfortunately, is all messed up. Dang. But it's Marcus right here. Marcus, Terminator Salvation. Really poor condition on the box, but the guy's in there. So he's probably mint condition. He's got his gun there. Let's see what we got in this bucket of fun right here. Bucket of fun. Ooh, this is neat. What is this? Craig Stan Astronaut. Okay. Some parts definitely come a little bit loose on this dude. There's loose wires here. He's not going to be complete. That's made in Japan. I think that's still going to have a little bit of value. Little rusted down here. Still, that's got to be rare, right? X70. Let's see if we can look up a comp on him. It's an old plastic gun right here. Knickerbocker, North Hollywood, California. That's spring loaded. You put a little dart in there. And There's a cap gun. <laughs> that's cool. Ooh, this is neat. Look at this. Kilgore. Patent pending. These are really neat. Ah, it's busted though. Part of that's busted right there. Keep well oiled. Huh. I think it's just a cap gun. Uh-oh, it's coming loose. Alright, we'll leave it like that. That is, that is a neat piece. This is a plastic one. Not as impressed with that. New saw. Now, nope, here's a good one. Star. Another little cap gun. Another little cap gun. That's another metal one. Double Derringer, it says. Put the little caps right there. And... <laughs> there's Bop It. Another gun. Dart. Shot. Five shot automatic. Made in the USA. Ooh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Look at this, you guys. Crescent Toy Corp. Made in England. This, you, you strap it on your arm, right? Like that. Right, strap it on and then... <laughs> really cool stuff. This little jewelry box. Uh-oh, what's that? That's a little lighter right here. Sima, Sima. Very nice. Very nice little lighter. What was in here? What else does this thing do? Maybe it's a music box? Yep. Another old cap gun. Oh, okay, look at this. Got tons of cap guns. This guy collected these. Mmm, that's a neat one. Automatic cap gun, it says. Probably put the roll in there, so that's how. That's why they call it automatic. And that one too. And here's a little die cast, cast iron. I mean, cast iron right here. Old toy. It's missing something, a horse or something right there. Some little Power Rangers. Those look vintage. Cool. What a fun little box, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're just getting started. We're already finding amazing stuff here. I want to see what's in here. I want to keep the fun going. Let's get it going. These trunks, I, I really don't like these trunks. They are always just so mm, hard to sell. Ooh, gross. What's this? A little bit more glass, broken glass. I don't know, pipe stuff. Um, all right, let's see what's in here. You ready? Yeah, okay, more toys. 
Okay, more Supergirl specifically. Hard, uh, rough condition on that again. Okay, hey, that's a neat one. There's Doomsday, Bizarro. I don't know, maybe there's still some value here. It is J2011 from Mattel. That's cool, but this, oh, this right here. It's Funko Pops, little crush right here. Simpsons 496S Radioactive Man. Condition's not great, but that's a neat piece. But this right here, this one's in a uh, plastic protector case. One Punch Man, great, great uh, movie. It's on uh, Netflix. Saitama, that was such a great movie. I'm sure it has comics too. Oh, I'm looking in there. It's in a case, but it does have a little crease in the box. The box is not perfect. That's cool though. I like that movie. Terrell Owens, oh, T.O. All right, when you played on the Eagles. Oh, old Sports Illustrator right there, 1972. There's another Supergirl. Metals cast, die cast. That's like the ones we found loose. So they are metal. Neat. Oh, look at this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Party Wagon. Hot Wheels, oh, that's neat. HW Screen Time, let's see if we can get a comp on that. That might be a little valuable. Phone case. old book right here there's a superman or a supergirl case uh cape in this case i think it's supergirl <laughs> i just have a feeling guys i don't know what it is spider-man trey i wonder if that's our guy i don't know he's got his swinging suit right there a little zoot suit going this uh, wallet chain there i like it there's a hot wheels batman arkham knight batmobile basketball card football card Lumix. So that's a little battery charger with the battery in it from Panasonic. Power Rangers. Adventure Time. <laughs> Happy Meal toy from Atlantis. We found those before. It's been a while. Household cookbook was what the book was. Electrical voltmeter. Another Happy Meal toy. Yeah, look at that. There's a clock. A piece of uh, agate or something. Huh, that's kind of neat. That looks old right there. Look at that, it's a little creamer, it comes out the mouth. It says hand painted, that's a neat piece right there. Novelty keychain, another battery charger. Oh, right here, Hot Wheels, Barbie. HW Getaways, it says, Getaways. Oh, Matchbox, ooh, Porsche 914, 1971. Ah, that's sealed, guys. Oh, that's copyright 2020, that's, that's not even very old. <laughs> I was impressed for half a second. Half a second. A little police Volkswagen, it looks like. It's from 2019. Oh, there we go. Tiger Electronics. What's that for? It's Who Done It. Video game for some system. Little guy. A Happy Meal toy here. The Hot Wheels. I like the Hot Wheels. Those are cool. What's this? It's got a crown right there. Almost looks like a Rolex. Uh, an M right there. What is this for? Oh, maybe it's an embosser. You know, you put the wax and you press that on. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it, but maybe. Mm, there's a little Donald Duck. Nice. Oh, look at this. Got a little bit of cards here. Boom. Got some pogs over there. And these are, it says 1989 complete set. Is there anybody good in that year, guys? Do you know? Is there any good players that year? Oh, that's cool. Pinball game. It's missing, I think, the little pull right here. Yeah, that's rough. Oh, look at this. It's cracked right here. It's too bad. It doesn't appear to be working. Little transformer. Ooh, there's Dark Phoenix again right there. That's a Funko Pop, I think. Dark Phoenix, that's cool. Needs to be cleaned up though. What's this? Another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So we got two of those. Whoa. That's signed right there, and this is heavy. Look at the pearlescence in there. That's okay, that's a little neat. Pro Soup Andersons. Andersons. P Soup Andersons, okay. Okay.
Let's see if we can hit a three-peat. This one's a little bit nicer, this one, because it got wheels. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's inside. Okay, toys, cards. Oh, what's this? Look at this, guys. There's a Pokemon. There's a Pokemon. Alolan Graveler, 2017. Not terribly old. Got a comic book right or a coloring book right here. Coloring book. This is kind of neat because look at this. Is this from uh I don't know, maybe Japan, maybe Korea, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. That's kind of neat though. There's the 80s baseball cards. Ooh, jeez. That's something newer and it's got a swatch of jersey. It's just sitting there loose like that. Hmm. Whoa. I think that's a jewelry box right here. <laughs> okay, let's get this. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> Supergirl corset. That's pretty funny, right? It's really stained though. I'll just let it go to the market. Right, we'll get that out in just a second. Okay, let me clear this other stuff. Ooh, that took my breath away for a second. Look at that. Nickels. That's a nickel book, but no nickels in there. Man, that's actually a nice looking book though. I'll put that aside. Oh, look at this. Got a little penny. 1940. Okay, we got, that's the first coins that we found, I think. And here's a little jewelry. Wait, is that... Oops, is that pearls? It's knotted in the middle, but that doesn't look like silver or gold connector. connector so let me rub it on my teeth. As gross as that looks, I'm going to do it. No, those are not real. That's just fake. That's just fake. Little pewter crab. I'm not sure what the point of that one is. Little penny. Find a penny, pick it up. And in this locker, you'll have good luck. Another card. There's some potential good jewelry here. There's jewelry, so potential. This guy is. I mean, guys, wait, how else am I going to put it? This guy's kind of a pig, right? I mean,. I don't mean to sound judgmental, but like who stores their there's my evidence right there, okay? Who stores their stuff this way? Oh, there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Really dirty uh, case. Luckily it's in the case. Clear wing fast dragon. Look at that. Probably is the most expensive card in here and it's <laughs> it's all dirty. But oh there's another Pokemon. I only get excited because the Pokemon's got some potential value here. 2014. That one's all dirty though. There's a bunch of Simpsons cards, more baseball cards. It's a weight right there, 200 grams for a scale. That's neat. Look at this little pencil sharpener, a little metal pencil sharpener in the shape of a cannon. Look at this. It's like an earring, but he put little wings on it. It's weird. This was uh, a toy of some sort. There's wheels that have broken off. It looks like a vintage toy though. I think it's done though. There's a little jack-in-the-box guy in a car and there's a jack-in-the-box in a helicopter. That's a little different. Whoa, what's this? Ah, it's bent. Oh, it's a little billboard. This goes on a train track for a set. I think it's a little billboard and it says diesel horn. I think it makes the choo-choo sound. Uh, there's an old horn right here. I had one of these just like it on my bike when I was a kid. This is done right here, but... Uh, uh. Oh my goodness, guys. Do you hear that? Okay, here's a real funny story for one... Or two stories. One, I had one just like this when I was a kid. Looked just like that. Uh, for two, the most money I've ever found in a locker, most cash money, was out of a box that looked just like this. And it didn't make change sound, but there was something shifting around. It wound, wound up being paper money. No, no kidding. No kidding. So let's see what's in here. You guys ready? <laughs> it's locked. It really is locked, guys. Okay, I could pry it open. But you know what? We're going to save that till later. No kidding. We're going to save that till later. All right, there's a little coin of some sort. There's a good magnet right here. It's even shaped like a magnet. That's kind of funny. Let's see. I used to have one in here. It's not very strong, though. It's not very strong. I'm going to let it go. If it was stronger, I'd keep it. Yeah, that's neat. A little train. Deodorant. Axe. It's good stuff. Yeah, it actually smells good still. 
some Funko Pop head, just the head. Crack pipe. <laughs> what? Seriously. What? Now we know what's, what happened to the guy, right? That was his downfall. D rugs. A little plug in heater. It's good for like the bathroom. The rain stick. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. We sell that for sure. We had one of those recently, found it, and we sold it in our Whatnot auction, all right? So we'll probably sell that in our Whatnot auction as well, guys. So if you want to buy that or, you know, things like that. Oh, this is for a drill right here. No, I don't, I think it's a tool of some sort. Huh. Well, the best stuff that we're finding in here, guys, we're gonna put in our Whatnot auction. We just renewed our deal. By the time you see this, we're probably weeks into our new run of Whatnot auctions, but we're gonna be doing a weekly um, on Thursdays on Whatnot. <laughs> Little billiards, see that? Little tiny billiards. Yeah, so that's where you can go if you wanna buy some of this stuff. Whatnot, it's the place to be. If you guys don't know what Whatnot is, it's a live streaming app. It works great on your phone, on your tablet, also works on your computer, but I suggest doing it on a mobile device. All sorts of stuff's being sold on whatnot almost 24 hours a day, pretty much 24 hours a day. There's a top two, a uh, little propane torch there. And that's where we're gonna be putting some of the best stuff coming out of this locker. And I know most of that's not gonna go on an auction, right? Most of that's going to the flea market, but uh, the best stuff, we're, the little cream of the crop, this kind of stuff over here. Pulling it out, we're gonna put it on a whatnot auction and we invite you guys we'll put a link in the in the video here so you can go and sign up if you want to and new customers will get 15 dollars for free just for trying the app just for installing it and giving it a whirl and i guarantee you guys will have fun even if you just want to go and watch it speaking of watch i think that might be a watch right there uh if you want to just go and watch you're gonna have a good time there's a little pokemon counter chip right there that's that's good 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 there's a quarter always good earrings or something 25 bucks for free, guys, for free. Usually we do our auctions on Thursdays, so go check us out on Thursdays. But you know what, if you just go sign up for Whatnot, bookmark our channel, you know, follow us on Whatnot, it'll tell you when we have auctions coming up. It'll send you little alerts automatically. Wayne Gretzky book right there. Look at this, we got a bunch of yo-yos. Oh, we got a coin too, 1920S. 1920s it's a wheat penny right there hopefully that's coming out on the camera gopro doesn't do too good with the small detail stuff but uh fireball oh yo-yos fast 201 these look like some decent ones it looks like mints but we're going to confirm because sometimes we find jewelry money you never know <laughs> it's yo-yo string <laughs> it's good. i just think that's funny so what's this album down here vinyl lp We'll get that out in a second. Rabbit TV. There's a little Lego dude. A little thimble right there with a glass tip on it. That's neat. Black Oak, Arkansas. X-rated. How can a record be X-rated? <laughs> what? 1975. Uh, could that have value? <laughs> Look at these guys. Jeez. They should be embarrassed. Their mother should have had a talk with them. Oh, what? I see a little signed card right here guys signed rookie ticket vernon hargrove the third in the buccaneers there's a target return card right here i think that's a store credit that might be decent good 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 oh look at this didn't we find one of these recently too a little scorpion set in resin i think we did somewhere oh oh frogger that's a Nintendo Game Boy right there, game. Frogger. Yeah. What's this? Cosmic cards. Inaugural edition. DC. Ooh, this could be good. Oh, this is good. Some DC cards. I didn't know they called them cosmic cards. That's 1991, guys. That's 30 years old on these. And there is some value in there. What's this? Yeah. 1993. That's good. Really good. do that next okay let me just clean this stuff out wait what's this real quick 
delete button oh my goodness that's hilarious the easy key light push it on push it off fun novelty gift that's actually pretty funny we'll put that aside just because i like it okay guys got that trunk out now let's look in here not too much going on in here not too much what's this made in usa eh? oh gotta take these gloves off huh, it's a little piece of something it's very cold so that's a natural stone very cold piece of some some kind of stone all right fashion jewelry made in china that's nothing really that is cute right there though that's a little turtle probably pewter and brass i'd say probably it says 2.99 on it but who knows when that was that's a neat piece i like it it's a piece of slag glass i think right there that's nothing that's nothing and that looks like a piece of jade that broke off of something it feels like jade it's cold a little keychain oh that's cool seattle look at that neat <laughs> look at that caitlin whoa super cool yeah i'm gonna put that aside <laughs> little car okay let's see oh okay let's see what happened here this broke off some some point another piece of something whoops i didn't mean to do that there's a neat old brass key skeleton key is that what it's called and look at this little turtles made out of something stone very cold very cold okay if nothing else this is a uh fun you know you don't know what you're gonna find adventure right here there's a pineapple earring kind of neat only one loft outlet it says it's nothing weekend vibes a couple patches what's that kyle schwarber yeah this is uh this has got i mean there's some stones and stuff in here there's some decent stuff i don't see any gold but it's still cool. That might be a little silver. That's a 925 silver right here. This silver. It says 925 on it. That's cool. Found a little bit of precious metals. <laughs> oh, look at this. A bunch of old keys there too. Golf cart keys. There's Baker Mayfield. That's pretty cool. But the cart is not in good condition oh that's neat there's v carnage i think little lego guy's missing an arm oh there's another lego guy neat little supergirl hey there's some amethyst right here that is not too shabby right here amethyst necklace that is actually a nice piece okay and then look at this little shark's teeth a bag of shark's teeth there's some mother of pearl or something roblox guy right here roblox it's a little nemo gosh these guys that's super dog or something what's his name i don't know but they're so dirty it's one of the shark's tooth right here couple of coins oh it's getting dirty in here i mean the deeper i go the dirtier it is mohawk ironworks couple more little lego guys another hot wheel another penny Ooh, what's that that's a barber penny no 1905 barber dime i mean that's a barber dime that's nice nice find there's another penny 1919 is that a penny it right, might be a foreign coin oh this guy i gotta pull out right here look at this tuscan raider sand people lego nice that's cute little turtle bracelet Sweden, Scandinavia, that's a little lighter. It needs to be cleaned up, but I think that... Hmm, I'll put it aside, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. 1920 on this penny. Definitely don't want to leave any gold in here, but... I'm not seeing too much potential for that. There's some coins in the bottom, and I'm I'm going to let that go. I know that's very much unlike me. Who is that? Don't think that's gold, but I'm going to put it aside. We'll take a closer look at it, but... What's this? 1919s these are easy i'll pop them out put them in new cardboards that's neat thunderbird okay the rest oh nope 
Almost missed that. That's a, what's this called again? It's been so long since I found one. It's a tintype, right? Old photo, tintype. That's nice. Let's put that aside right here. Okay, let's see. What's this? Falcon Mini Cam Senior. That's neat. It's an old camera, huh? Huh, okay. And then right here. Oh, that's a really nice. Look at that. Nice walking stick. Very cool. Love the stain work on this thing. Yeah, that's neat. Okay. And then right next to that, we got a really nice crowbar right here. Nice and heavy. Wrecking bar, it says. That's not crowbar, it's a wrecking bar. Yeah, look at that tip. You know what this is good for, guys? This is good for opening safes. <laughs> Yes, it's true, true, true. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm just going to start pulling this kind of stuff out, the clothes, try to get that cleared out so we can start working up there a little bit. That's kind of neat. It's a little kid shirt, though. It's a Fortnite shirt right there for little kids. It's kind of cool. This garbage can right here has got a bag in it. You can put the laundry in there. A pair of Levi's. 25 waist. <laughs> it's nice. We'll put that aside. That's decent. HTR-5540. There's no HDMI cords on the back, so not that current but that's probably decent Come on, it's a good brand okay it's kind of decent too it's a hoover barber shop it says wood box ah, it's meant to look old I don't think it really is uh... oh look at this guys Eric Hinsky is signed it's signed right there. What? McFarland. McFarland Toys. Hinsky. Huh. Neat. That could be good. A couple lottery tickets. What's this? Colmige? Strawberry ice cream? I don't know what that is. Just junk. It's cool. A little picture, car, classic car picture, classic Daimler. I don't know what this is right here. See this right here? What's that inside there? I'm not sure. It looks like it could be something decent. Wayofwade.com. Dwayne Wade, maybe? I don't know. All City Nine. It says All City Nine. This could be something good. Of course, it's gonna take two to make it anything, but there's one. Little helicopter here. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Is that remote control? Maybe? I don't know. It's kind of, it looks kind of nice. Mattress cover. Ooh, it all stayed up. Never mind. Jump the winch! Another DVD player. I think it's the third one we found. Okay, we'll look in there in a sec. I also pulled this out. We'll see what that is. But uh, look at that. That box moved right there, and we see more toys in there. See some kind of Superman steel safe. It says right there. Of course, this is a drum Remo. Pretty good. Whatever that was that broke right there. It looks like they had a bunch of little toys and stuff in there. No bigs. But uh, guys, I didn't even notice when I was working here, and I pulled the stuff out. Look at this. I didn't even notice this. Sometimes I get lost in all the junkage, but what do we got? Look at this. Two, two more uh, comic book boxes right there. Lo it looks like long boxes. That's good. I'm hoping there's a lot more in here, but I'm happy with whatever we find. It's a little wooden Tonka car right there. It's neat. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. This is Shimano right here. It's 20 bucks. Let's see if that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, some pedals. Very nice. That's actually really good. Brand new pedals. Good brand. And they look like they're brand new. That's not too shabby. Okay, this right here is 
a heater that looks really old guys um yeah it's probably pretty pretty good still though i wouldn't try it in my house but maybe someone at the flea market's gonna want to take that chance oh look at this dang that's a penny book but no pennies i'm liking this though okay stargate sg1 sahara there's the dvds for stargate panic at the disco et i wonder if that's got any value 1982 paddle ball <laughs> should we give it a shot give it a whirl oh, no nope not not good okay, what's this Rogers Connection. Magnets have never been so ingeniously engineered, entertaining, educational, satisfyingly tactile, and com ultimately compelling. More junk ledge. Ooh, that's a jack in the box. Oh, we have to go look at that after. Could this have value? Uh -huh. Hey, I like what I see right here. Snap on. There is a difference, it says. What is that? Power inverter. Oh, dang, that's cool. Looks like they jerry rigged it. All right, we'll let that go to the market. Yeah, that's neat. A Superman wallet. That is definitely well worn. Oh, look in here though. In the wallet, Yu-Gi-Oh! Element Saurus. I was hoping for some money in there, but maybe this is just as good. Jose Barrios. Yeah, some credit cards don't show those. Hmm. Okay. Well, whatever. That go to the market. Man, finding Yu-Gi-Oh! cards that. I'm editing right now the video with, where I find all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards in that one locker. Huge, huge score of them. So fun. Ew. There's another inverter right here. Gamer's inverter. Gamer. Huh? Alright. Okay. Oh, good. Well, $2.99. <laughs> That's funny. Mattel. I think this is vintage. Jack in the music box. Oh. It's not making any music. I don't think they're made the drop on the ground like that. <laughs> Change the tune piano. This guy was down there. Bobby from Billions. But Bobby's in rough shape. Rough. Alien Labs indoor flower. Hmm. Okay, our clothes bag is just about full. Just about full. Oh! Look at that. That's kind of neat. I think that's a... I mean, we found these from Disneyland, and they're popcorn buckets. I'm not sure what he's going to be, but he's got a little broken snap right there. Huh, bad condition, but we'll bring them to the market. It's kind of a neat piece, though. A little more fun. What's this? Uh-oh. <laughs> this is signed... Number five. I don't know whose name that is, but I know somebody that I can ask. I got a buddy. I know a guy. I know a guy. Look at this guy. Three dollars and forty-nine cents. We let him go. But that's a good find. Put that in my good box. Looks like some sort of big toy right here. Oh boy. This is definitely one of the worst pack lockers I've seen in quite a while. A few bucks in that drum, maybe. Ah, man, that's too bad. Saw that box up there. Steel safe with alarm. Hmm. Maybe we can find it still. Oh, maybe this is it. Oh, no, this is a uh, little jackpot. Rough shape, though. It's funny, we just sold that other jackpot we brought to the market. You know that one I found in the baseball card? Oh, this actually works still. How long are you gonna go? Huh. All right. It doesn't sound like there's any money in there. Something is moving around there, but not money. I can almost guarantee that. So to the flea market it goes. It's kind of a fun piece though. Oh, oh here's another drum. Right here. Baseball card. I think that's a snare drum. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Oh, okay. 
I see a toy right here. Duck Dodgers. Dorbs. Oh, these are kind of like Funko. Oh, there is Funko Pop, but it's, it's another line. 3,000 pieces, huh? Limited. That's cool. What else we got in here? Huh. Oh, this is for badminton right there. Those are birdies. Nice coaster. Oh, what's this? That's neat. I don't think that's vintage. It is super cool though. Who is that? Bandai, 2016. Bandai or Bandai? That is neat. I like that. I do like that. Okay. It's kind of like transformer type toy. Oh, it's broken. His, his arm's broken. Milwaukee dr uh, drill case there. Whatever. Nice umbrella. Squirt gun. It's a real 33 tactical Zebco. Harley Davidson gloves. Oh, those are decent. Yeah, this is a pencil sharpener. And you know what that is? That's for pencils. That's a neat looking piece right there. Put that aside. An old digital camera, Olympus. Seven megapixels, not that old. I don't know, it's not that new either. No data card. Some rocks. Hmm. It's made in Bavaria right there. Is there anything special about that? Some hand sanitizer, I'm gonna put that aside. I might actually need that in a little bit. If I take my gloves off, that is. Safeway truck. Oh, wait, is this a Pez? Oh, that's a Pez. Oh, heck of cool. That's a Pez. That might be something. <laughs> right? I don't know. <laughs> I just put aside everything that has potential. You know what I'm saying? Some food. A little more hand sanitizer. Do I need more? I'll let that go to market. Hot Wheels. 2013. Look at this little guy. The Hot Wheels, John Deere, those are nice. Oh, stamps, those are good. We sell stamps. Yes, we do. Certified barista. Oh, Starbucks. Pins, metal pins from Starbucks. Never seen that before. And unfortunately, we only have one Harley Davidson glove in here, so that ain't good. this hmm that is a piece of art right there yeah it's actual oil paint but yeah it's in rough condition but maybe someone's gonna want it I don't, I don't know I don't know about that what's this oh petticoat junction wait that's got to be a reproduction right yes yeah, 1999 I was gonna say that's in way too good a condition. Oh, it's not even that good a condition. The things busted off. It's because the newer stuff's made so cheaply compared to the old stuff. That's still a neat piece though. I think just regular flea market on that. Okay. Comic book. Knights. Wild Knights. Shattered Earth Chronicles. Oh, another comic book. Robin the Third. Collector's Edition. Oh, here's another DVD player, but this time we got a blue Blu-ray. But I think the it looks like the cover's gone though. Oh man, if I pull that out, this might come down. But look at this right here. There's a bike right there. There's a bike. That's what this is. I gave that a yank earlier and it was not moving at all. We're gonna have to dig around that bike. Right, let's see what we got up here. Okay, this is Relic brand. Relic. It's in rough shape inside. I mean, it's dirty. I'll let that go to market. And this bag right here. Little eyeballs. Looks like Halloween decorations. Oh, grads. All right, it's just, uh, I don't know. Halloween and graduation decor. Hmm, that's neat. All right. To the market. Look at this thing. Home Medics MP3 Kush. It's got some speakers built in. I can feel them right there. And <laughs> there's the remote. Okay. 
Jeez, everything's moving. Okay. This little military thing here. That's okay. Spray starch. What is this? Safety lancelets. So that's for some kind of injection stuff. Probably for diabetes. For insulin. Maybe. That's a nice little cooler bag. Polar jacket. Polarjacket.com. That's actually a neat piece. That'll sell for sure. What's this? Athletic. It's another single shoe. I need to find some pairs here, folks, because one at a time is not going to do it. Oh my goodness. There is so much going on, guys. I'm standing right in front of something. I don't even see it. Look at this. There's some taxidermy here. Ah, oh, terrible. Look at this. That's an, what's that called? An art, uh, aardvark? But bomber, look at his legs split. 